Hi guys, it's Kristen. I am sister number two out of the six sisters. And as you saw today, we are making something so fun. We are making Star Wars cake pops, BB-8 and BB-90. Now, my love of Star Wars started when I was very young. My dad taught me at a young age. And even though I now have four girls myself, we have still taught them the important things of life, which is Star Wars. For example, let's see, not this Halloween, the last Halloween, um, we decided to do a Star Wars theme. And being eight months pregnant, of course, of course I had to be BB-8. So here's a little picture of that. That was fun. It actually was lots of fun. But because I love Star Wars so much, and my girls love Star Wars so much, we love to have fun celebrations. So as you know, the movie's coming out on Friday, and to celebrate, we made some BB-8 and BB-9E cake pops. I'm just gonna show you the BB-9E one. Oh, there we go, there we go. The little eye, everything. Anyways, they're really easy to make. Um, and if you have a Star Wars fan, I'm telling you, you could put this together really easily. Oh wait, before we get started, don't forget if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel and push the little bell so you can get the notifications of when we post. All right guys, let's go make them. So my secret is to use donut holes. Make sure they're really round. You can make cake pops or cake balls if you want, but donut holes just make it so easy. Then I'm gonna take a skewer or a cake pop stick and stick it right onto my donut hole and then just cover it completely in melted chocolate. Two colors here, one white, one dark. Then I just placed it in a cardboard box. You can also use styrofoam or anything that your cake pops can stand up in. So here I used milk chocolate and I just added a little bit of black food coloring just to give it that dark look. Or you can use dark chocolate, so whatever works for you. Then just try and make it as round and as clean as possible. So as you can see, I am using Rolos for the head. So I'm just dipping them in white chocolate and again in dark chocolate. I mean, I know you can do this easier with a fork, but sometimes it's just easier to use my fingers and try and make it as even as possible. With the heads, you can cut off any excess frosting that you have so it looks pretty even. And then I just took a little bit of frosting and just stuck the heads right on. Then repeat with the same steps with the dark chocolate. If I would do it again, I would use some dark frosting underneath, not white frosting, but white frosting was just sitting there, so it worked out. <laughs> now, I don't have any fancy bags, so I literally put my frosting in sandwich bags and then just cut a teeny tiny tip so I'll be able to do the fine details that I need to do. So now it's time to get the decorations on. BB-8 is first because obviously he's my favorite. So we're just adding the orange circles on. You can look and follow exactly how he looks, but I just added some circles all around the place. Um, then I just did the little notches. There's four notches in each little orange circle. And then I just did an orange circle right on the top of his head. Now we're gonna add the light gray. I added white frosting with a tiny bit of black food coloring um, just to get your gray, and I'm just kind of filling in the holes of the orange. Then he has little lines here and there. I'm not following exactly what it looks like because that would take a really long time, and it's a little difficult with frosting. Then I just did little screws here and there. Don't worry, when it dries, we'll go back and fix it a little bit with a sharp point. Just circle underneath and then circle for his little eye and then we have black frosting black for the big eye little dot there and then one more little orange piece just for a little more details now I'm going in with a stick to kind of just press down the little points you know when you pull your frosting off sometimes it makes points and so I'm just kind of making them look a little better there we go now I'm going to make my BB-9E. So I have gray frosting on the top and of course gray frosting on the neck of it. Now I'm going to add a circle for his eye. It's going to be like a glowing red eye when we're done. So add a few more details and then he has a few 
big gray circles on him. We do a straight line down and then kind of like four little notches. There's more detail in him, but it's kind of hard with frosting. So that's the best we're gonna do. Then take some red gel. It's important to get red gel because you kind of get that light red. Um, so it looks like it's kind of glowing. Then I just took my little toothpick, fixed my points, and there you have it. There is my BB9E. I think he's darling. So here you are, BB9E versus BB8. You just have to make both of them because they really are so much fun. Thanks guys for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed to us, now is the perfect time to do it to catch all of our yummy, delicious recipes that we are sharing. See you next time. Bye.